So here is Anne Christiansen. I am a NIA teacher and NIA trainer, and today I am here with Miss Lily Wang. And we met through the online format of NIA classes. And I'm very curious about you as a person and the profession you are in and what you have shared with me that NIA has given you both personally and professionally dancing with me from your own home where you live right now. Okay. Uh, thank you, Anne, and uh, also thank you, uh, Zoran, uh, to give me um, the, this opportunity to share my experience about NIA, yeah, especially uh, in this year uh, during the pandemic. Uh, and I was uh, stuck in uh, Bulgaria for about a year till now. And uh, uh, I, I think in the beginning of this year, uh, Actually, uh, I got uh, no exercises and, uh, you know, uh, no uh, like running or hiking or something because, the, uh, because of the pandemic. So uh, in April, uh, I think I still have uh, some uh, physical problems, just like, uh, you know, heart beating so fast and also the, uh, temp uh, the uh, blood pressure going very high, like 160 to hundred or something. So I was really scared about that. So in uh, May, I start to find something uh, for continue my exercises, uh, physical exercises, you know, as before I did in China. And, uh, uh, but, you know, running, hiking, uh, but uh, including uh, riding bicycle, not really that help. So in July, I started to uh, recon reconnect with uh, Debbie Lee, uh, who is uh, teaching near in uh, Cambodia. So uh, I just danced online uh, with her. And uh, when we connected in the Facebook, so sadly I saw you, uh, you know, uh, the photos and uh, some uh, videos in YouTube, but I don't know, you know, who you are. <laughs> so I just checked with Debbie. So as I, uh, I told her, uh, I find a very energetic lady and, uh, you know, with a good shape. And I, who is she? Uh, how can I dance with her? And Debbie Lee just introduced you. She said, uh, you used to be her teacher and uh, you are the uh, uh, best, uh, one of the best near teacher in the world. So uh, I try to connect it with you. And then uh, thank you so much. You give me, you know, very uh, clear uh, explanation. How can I dance with you online? So I think I started uh, in end of uh, July. So uh, the first time, you know, I danced with you. Uh, I don't know, because of the music or whatever, you know, I just, you know, cried. Just, you know, full of uh, tears, you know, in my eyes. And uh, actually I was scared, you know. I don't know, you know, what's happened. And then I just, uh, uh, I, I just wrote uh, the message to uh, Debbie. I just checked why I, I did like this. And uh, she just uh, asked me if uh, I was really sad or uh, I feel released or whatever. So I told her, I really feel, you know, released after, you know, crying, after dancing. So just as slowly by slowly, I can have a better uh, self-awareness about my physical uh, situation and also uh, my emotions and also energy. I can feel strongly uh, my energy just, you know, uh, is going, uh, going to be higher. So sometimes I also share with you uh, after our dancing, you know, uh, my emotions. And also, you know, uh, my, I, I just, you know, feel uh, I have a, you know, kind of a power, you know, after dancing. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, you know, is a basic experiences. And also, you know, that is for personally and also professionally, I also have a, a lot of changes because I am a human resources consultant and also uh, a consultant for uh, executive search area. So I uh, interview many uh, candidates, you know, every day, and also deal with a lot of clients in China. And, uh, you know, after dancing for a few months, I think, you know, I, I have a strong feeling 
to uh, have a more easier communication uh, with you know all of the people. And also, of course, you know, with the family people, you know, my son, uh, you know, my family members. So mm -hmm. a lot of people start to give me uh, feedback, you know, about my changes. And uh, my son is studying in US and he said, uh, okay, so he said, you, you, you changed a lot, uh, especially, you know, during a hard situation for the pandemic. I was stuck there in Bulgaria, I cannot go back to China for a year. So I think that really, uh, you know, incredible changes uh, after dancing, you know, with all the near teachers. It sounds amazing, Lily, and I'm so glad that your spirit started looking for something and that we would like to say that Nia is more than an exercise program and what you described that your body could release stress uh, touches me deeply and that it apparently comes into your mind, into your emotions, how you take care of yourself, that your blood pressure went down, and that you even can assess people that you are going to position in different places, which is you know, big, you need big, big capacity for this, that that even has changed for you. That makes me very, very happy. And uh, also uh, gives me a sense of trusting that what we do online, not even being in the same room, creates healing and uh, it makes the emotional body stay healthy in times like this. Like you say, you're stuck, you can't go anywhere, you have to do so many things and yet you have found your, your uh, magic to stay well at home and with all of the things you, you have to do. So I am curious also, how do you feel um, expressing maybe your feminine side or anything about uh, feeling uh, different when you do the Nia movements, if we look at them as a little bit more than just exercise? Uh, I'm not sure, you know, is it because of the music or the movement uh, itself or, or uh, the energy from the teachers? So I'm still thinking about that. And uh, actually, uh, I started the uh, uh, revolution, uh, the courses with uh, Mrs. Debbie Roses, you know, last night. So uh, I just, you know, uh, try to figure out what's happening, you know, from the body to the shoe uh, and the, to, uh, to affect the emotions and the mental. So uh, maybe I will let you know later, you know, about that. But uh, I, uh, why I just, you know, want to uh, dance in Nia, uh, to dance Nia from uh, you and other teachers from Zoom, but not only uh, from the video, uh, from YouTube or, or whatever. I can feel your energy. You know, I think the energy can be moved and it can be uh, exchanged, you know, during dancing, Ex especially when a teacher, uh, you know, have a full of energy and power. So I can feel from the screen. So that's why I really do not want to miss any of your classes. You know that in New Year and also in Christmas Day. You know, sometimes it's rush because, you know, the family members waited for me for dinner or, you know, for a kind of a celebration. But all of them are really support me. Well, when you dance, they get a better you, it sounds like. So they will uh, wait until you have uh, shaken your body and, and moved around and, and yes. uh, done the breathing and, and the expression. And, uh, you know, having so many years of experience with people around me doing it and now creating this space for everyone to feel that power in their own home has stretched me as well and uh, getting to know you a little bit more and having your voice heard here is perhaps going to inspire other people, executives or uh, people who use a lot of brain power and start to notice this. my body is not quite coming along and I feel things I did not feel before. And um, maybe doing push-ups is not going to be the solution. It's more about finding a holistic movement form that takes all of me 
uh, into this, this bubble, if you will, where I can breathe and express both emotions and thoughts. And of course, yes. my physical, yes? Yes, it, yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I also, you know, one of the, my feeling is um, uh, dancing, when dancing near, need to be very focused and concentrated. So that is not, you know, uh, different than other exercises. You know, when doing gym or, you know, uh, running, maybe you would talk to each other and uh, sometimes I listen to the music or whatever, or even, uh, you know, other uh, conversations or whatever. But when dancing uh, near, so I need to be very concentrated, you know, to uh, the teacher and also uh, to listen to the body very carefully. So maybe that's, you know, the, the, the different now I feel now. I think in the future, maybe I have, you know, other uh, deep feelings. So I will tell you continually in the future. Well, thank you, Lily. And uh, I'm, I really want to celebrate uh, your blooming like a Lily. You know, your name, it's like uh, blooming your personality and honing your ability to focus on you so that you can focus on whatever it is your life asks of you so i'd like to thank you for this short interview and i look forward to dancing with you very very soon again so thank you very much and so you know uh during this pandemic so i have a chance to uh dance to study uh from the best teachers of nia so it's really my honor and my luck so thank you very much have a good weekend thank you <laughs>